thanks for tuning in so on my last video i showed you me dyeing the ends of my hair with overtone rose gold for brown hair overall i wasn't super stoked with the results but there were results so what i'm gonna do now i have decided i'm just gonna dye everything i'm gonna dye all of my hair because i think it's just subtle enough to look pretty on all my hair without being too crazy for my personal taste so i've let my hair dry thoroughly because this is the same day i just did the ends this morning and i mean you can see i think you can see a little better now that it's a little dry this side definitely came through stronger than this side which is just my application you know but I'm gonna go ahead and do all my hair. I'm gonna just do it. I know if this turns out bad, I'm not gonna shave my head. I'm not gonna cut it all off. I'll just let it fade out. So yeah, let's get started. So I kept my handy, hand, handy dandy gloves because I was pretty sure this is what was gonna happen. So I'm gonna open up my overtone rose gold for brown. Show you what that looks like again very red very bright inside the container but of course it's not that intense when she put it on and maybe I'll know this something I thought about which I'm sure this is an easy Google but it may have absorbed in my hair better if I had washed my hair first and made sure it was like super clean because I had as I told y'all it was like second day hair or you know not freshly washed so maybe that's why it didn't absorb into my hair as good so i'm sure there's a lot of different factors that can be considered when you're looking at hair dye and how well it absorbs into the hair anyways i'll go ahead and get started i should probably separate my hair right people do that sorry you can tell i don't do this so i just dropped my hair clip i'm going to take half my hair my hair is pretty thin though. I don't have thick hair. It is a little on the long side, but it's pretty thin. It's naturally wavy, but it's a pretty, because I blow dried it, it's pretty straight. So very easy to work with right now. So I'm just gonna do a little twisty up here. And I'm gonna use a scrunchie, I think. Yeah, I just use a scrunchie to do a little top bun on this. I'm sure there's like tons of tutorials of the right way to dye your hair, but eh, who has time for that, right? Okay, so I'll start with this bottom half. And I am gonna go over the ends again in case any, any of you all were wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ends again just because it came through so subtle and this side's a little darker. So I'm gonna try to even that up and maybe, maybe it'll be uniform all around. Maybe it'll have a slight ombre since I've already done the end, ends once. Not sure how that's gonna go. So anyways, I'm just gonna dive right in and do it because you can't talk about it too much. All right, I like to rub it between my hands first. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I would like to think it helps get it more even. And then I'm just going to start going through my strands.
Okay, so I was just looking for a comb real quick. This is all I could find. I know I have like the larger ones, which would probably be a lot easier with my hair, much easier. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use this and try to comb through it. Just to make sure it spreads out a little more evenly. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I feel like I've seen it that you should comb it through and it doesn't say that on the instructions but again I just feel like it's it would probably be helpful All right, I think I'm gonna call it quits there. So I'm gonna let it sit for probably about half an hour again since that's what I did the first time. And then I'll rinse it out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and dry it and everything. And so you'll get to see the final product. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Hopefully it looks good and it's pretty even. Okay. I've just finished blow drying my hair, so I'm about to brush it out. And we will see how it looks. Now, I'll tell you, it was terrifying when I rinsed it out because the water ran so bright. It was just past color, so of course I get super nervous seeing that. And also, I, I lost track of time, so I actually left this on for about 40 to 50 minutes. Definitely closer to 50 minutes. I didn't mean to. I meant to only leave it on for about 30 minutes, but um, I lost track of time. So, don't recommend that. <laughs> recommend uh, setting a timer so that you know when to uh, rinse your hair. All right, so. Let's see. It actually, so it did color all of my hair. Looks pretty even. A little darker on the ends, but that's expected since I dyed the ends first as a test run. I actually really, really like it. It's not strong, it's a very subtle color, but it definitely comes through. And that was a concern of mine considering how subtle it was when I tested the ends first. So still, still very subtle overall, but it's actually a very nice undertone of pinks, almost like a cute little sun-kissed color. So definitely not strong, but I like it. And remember, I, I bought rose gold. So I didn't get pink, I didn't get like hot pink or anything like that. So to me, this gives off a very rose gold vibe because it's kind of that brassy brassy pink color i actually really like it and i can see so right here where my bangs are a little bit lighter the pink came through more so definitely the lighter your hair the more it's going to show up which is kind of obvious but since this is rose gold for brown i thought it would be a little stronger but i really like it so i'll try to get a little closer maybe get get by the window give you guys some natural light to see it in yeah so overall I'm pretty pleased with this just gonna break up the videos there but um yeah so overall I'm happy with it you definitely I mean this is for the subtle look this isn't for anything strong um, I'm excited to see how it comes off in the Sun people were really happy with how it came off in the Sun on the reviews so and of course since my husband picked this color i'm anxious to see what my husband thinks about it he may not even know the difference but cute i like it maybe i will try to add a little clip outside if the lighting is different but otherwise i really like this color i actually do recommend it and i'll show you how much i have left after dyeing all my hair so if you can see 
that's that's over half right there so I could definitely do my whole head again maybe even two more times if I went light or I could go really heavy again which I might have to do but I also bought this daily conditioner I do plan to use this when I shower or when I rinse off to help my color stay just because I like it just where it is I don't really want it to be any stronger than this I think it's the perfect level of like subtlety so I don't want it to be stronger so I'll just keep using this daily conditioner and we'll see how that works as far as holding up the color because something I don't want is I don't want to constantly have to dye my hair and do this whole process again so if I could quickly put put um, this conditioner in my hair in the shower that would save me a lot of trouble because I, I don't think this process is super fun but but it is exciting so that's the final product let me know what you guys think maybe uh maybe next time i'll try a different color and see how well it works but yeah thanks for tuning in if you have any specific questions comments anything you want to add just feel free to comment below maybe more videos to come we'll see but overall i do like the rose gold for brown hair i think it works decently um, I think it could be maybe a little stronger, but also trying to take a dark color and turn it into something like rose gold is going to be hard anyways. So I recommend this for lighter color hairs. I don't think if you have dark hair or brunette, it's going to work very well for you. But yeah, just let me know what you think. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.